singles action forthcoming. This is gonna be a beef on beef, just absolute slugfest here. Got the opportunity last night, Jimmy D, to see this athlete in action and what a match he had. But he's got a tall task in front of him here tonight. In singles action again. The new Texas Pro Champion, Brian Keane, getting a very warm reception from the freelance underground faithful here. And Sterling, I want to hear more about this match that he had last night where he successfully defended that new Texas Pro Championship. It was a hell of an encounter. Him and Stuart Grayson tore the roof off the Logan Square Auditorium. Sound like maybe the match that he had with Brian Keith prepared Storm Grayson for the previous contest where he won the Freelance Underground Independent Championship. I definitely feel like that's the case. Storm came into that matchup with just an elevated confidence and was able to walk out with the championship. The new Texas Pro Championship not on the line tonight, but Brian Keith taking on. A resident Haas in his own right here. And the current check to the championship holder. Two fan favorites. Two individuals who the crowd loves just watching mow over their opponents. If you want to see feats of strength, look no further than the Iron Demon, Shane Mercer. Shane Mercer went to war against Simon Gotts just a little bit ago, and that match was just brutality personified. Not only did they stay on the mat, but they also took it all throughout the Church Street Brewery. This may be a case of that soul fire bomb going up against the moon salt and battery. Whoever can hit their, their big move first might come away with a victory here tonight at the final phase here on IWTV. Yeah, I'm looking forward to a Texas smash mouth battle here. That's gonna be the style that Brian Keith brings into the contest. Shane Mercer, not from Texas, from his own private hell, but can bring a Smash Mouth style from Texas or from his own personal hell regardless. Oh, a test of strength maybe. No. Uh, He's saying, I'm just going to toss you right <laughs> out of here. That's a it's definitely be a tall task. And to give himself away like that to Brian this early, letting him know exactly what his intentions are, may have let the cat out of the bag a little too early. As Brian Keith able to scout that out. As powerful as Brian Keith clearly appears to be, I don't know if you want to match strength with Shane Mercer, the man with a 605 pound bench press. Oof. And has used as a weapon before a set of five seat bleachers. Like a full set of bleachers with five seats. He's used as a weapon before. Nothing has stopped the Iron Demon. He has been on a war path. But will the quickest kicks in the south be what it takes to daze the Iron Demon here? Yeah, a war of attrition. Ooh. I don't know if Brian Keith wants to do that. Well, here we go. That's what Keith needs to stick with. Off the ropes, here he comes. All of that lariat. 
And Mercer might want to keep this one nice and slow, maybe a slow, methodical pace. Let's see. Oh, beautiful. With ease. With ease and authority. Shane Mercer just turned Brian Keith inside out. Just laying him down with that knife edge chop. And he's, yeah, methodical. Staying at his own pace is the Iron Demon. Look at this strength here on the T-Bow. Full rotation. Instead of dropping Keith on his back, he got him to rotate to where he just landed right on his hip. I think Mercer's looking to just throw Keith back to Texas. Beautifully done on that reverse, that reverse spinning thrust kick. Keith now full head of steam. He got that charge in the corner, but he got caught too. Look at this head and arm. Overhead. On the belly to belly. And Brian Keith, the bounty hunter, wise to roll to the outside and regroup in this one. Now I've seen a lot of matches, but I'm not sure Brian Keith has been thrown to this degree before. I mean, Shane Mercer is just ragged dolling him thus Dan far. Perch. Dan Perch has got placed right back into the center of the ring. Knife edge shot continuing. That seems to be Shane Mercer's MO in this one. And now we're battling on the outside. And Sterling, like you mentioned before, Sterling Ooh. very adept. Or uh, Shane very adept to battling on the outside. Shane Mercer, our check for the champion holder, can use that opportunity at any time. Uh, Justin, our pal Justin getting in on the action on Brian Keith. Freelance faithful, ever so interactive. We love it. Mercer hold on to the ankle. Keith is trying to get back into the ring. Just wearing down his opponent with those chops. Yeah, that check to the championship. Shane Mercer recently in a six-man scramble to win, to win that distinction. Now back into one-on-one -on -one competition. And we are sold out here at the Church Street Brewing Company here in the western suburbs. Yeah, if these fans stand, Sterling, we're not going to be able to see the action. I am super limited in my view right now, Jimmy D. I'm going to try to stand up. But yeah, Sterling, it is so thick here with just shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder individuals. I am unable to, to see the action. Yeah, I can't see much here, Jimmy D, but the crowd has scattered a bit as... Oh, here we go. I see Brian Keith on his feet and the first in the ring. That's where Brian Keith, that's where he's going to want to keep this action. He does not want to battle on the outside with the Iron Demon, Shane Mercer. We saw before Shane Mercer just absolutely taken to Simon Gotch, putting him through our analysis table before. And we're up to seven on the count. Referee Dan Perch laying down. Wait, that could be it. That could be it. Mercer's in, referee Dan Burge waves it off, and we are right back to where we picked up before. Snapmare followed by the knee drop, nicely done by the bounder hunter. This could be, ah, make that just two. And I like that strategy there from Keith, taking his time, getting back in the ring, allowing Mercer to struggle to get the ring while Keith regains some energy as now he continues to take the life out of Shane Mercer. This is smart. I don't care how big and strong you are. If your neck is being draped over that middle cable, that middle cable of a rope, you're going you're gonna to run out of oxygen and you're going to wear out. Very smart approach by the bounty hunter, Brian Keith, and showing why he has the quickest kicks in the south. Oh, such an ed educated feat. From Brian Keith, the outlaw. Yeah, looking for a suplex here. Can he get it? Not Shane Mercer. Not exactly. I mean, Mercer's capable of being suplexed. But think about the energy that Mercer has lost. Not able to counter with a suplex of his own, but just able to stave that off. Brian Keith now with Mercer with the power game. Shoots into the corner. Yeah, able to get that elbow up to evade the, the charging Iron Demon. Here we go, looking up top, maybe, nah, got cut off that elbow, being elbow, right to the lower back. Up top, maybe thinking, maybe a Rubik's Cute or a powerbomb type move. 
Now oh. into the wheelbarrow. Brian Keith is shocked at the strength of Shane Mercer. Caught him with the DDT, though. That, Beautifully done. That snap DDT. Cover. Hooks the leg away from the rope. Could not keep him down. That snap DDT will put any opponent on Dream Street. Last night, Storm. Today, Shane Mercer. It just kind of comes out of nowhere, Jimmy D. It's an indefensible. Yes. Brian Keith looking out to the audience. The Freelance Underground faithful here are so in full support of both performers. Here we go off the rope. Look at the strength here. Caught him into incredible power slam. Let's make this. Ah, we're all going to make it two here. Thought that was three, Jimmy D. Just kind of caught him and popped him up with finesse and slammed him on the canvas. Yeah, there's, yeah, it takes a lot of strength to do that, but man, the, the pinpoint precision that Shane Mercer just showed here. Got the clothesline. He's going to keep those coming. Keith doesn't want to feed himself into those. Oh, this time mixing it up with the back elbow. And there's the clothesline this time to the back of the head. Mercer may be looking for that moon salt and battery. If he hits it, it's over. There's no way anybody's getting up from the moon salt and battery. Setting him up. He's got that front chancery set up. It's looking for here, maybe a brain buster. Might be thinking brain buster. Yeah, good call. Ah, the bounty hunter driving those knees to escape. Oh, right back to the chop. That's where, that's what Shane Mercer's, that's how he's come this far. That knife edge chop has worn down Brian Keith throughout this match. Mercer Set him up, though. Could be looking for that moonsault and battery. Oh, he's calling. I don't think that's that what he called for, though. Is he just going to beal him across? Superplex may be coming up. Oh, oh strength. Going to hold him up, make him think about it. Oh, I think he got an inverted DDT out of that to counter. He sure did cover. Oh, that's the closest to a three count we've seen all night without hitting three. So close, two and seven eighths on that. I'm that just counter. more so amazed that Mercer lost his balance there. I mean, a man that's recognized for his strength. All shoot not making his way, pointing to that ceiling. Yeah, he's looking for that for that soul fire bomb coming up. If he hits that soul fire bomb, that's it. That's one, two, three. One back to Texas with an undefeated record here in the Midwest. Mercer using his sink to avoid back body drop to avoid. And Mercer, yeah, cannot be sunset flipped out of there. By the throat. Jumping on the back brain kick, and he got it. Mercer in the corner. Oh, and he got two of those. Did you, Sterling, he got so much slap off of that one. What's Brian going for here? Looking for, yeah. Oh, maybe like a, a tornado version. Oh! <laughs> That's it, that's it! That's One, two! Oh, so close! He is shaking his head in disbelief. He has, he has definitely dig deep in the bag. I have not seen things like that to try to put away your opponent for Brian Keith. It was a very smart misdirection. Hey, if I can't get the, the soul firebomb, this front flipping center out of the corner is gonna be a final placement. This could be it, that soul firebomb. Counter from Mercer. Driving the elbow to counter the counter. Keith, though, with those strikes, bringing that. He's going to try the front flipping stunner again. Oh, this time it's Shane Mercer with the jumping side kick. That's been so effective for Brian Keith throughout this contest. Mercer going to that second rope. This could uh -oh. be Moonsaw and Battery. If he hits this, it's if over. he's able to take Brian Keith up tries. and over, he does cover one. comes out the victor here at the final phase on IWTV. Shane Mercer, line him up. He'll knock him down. Making that motion, that give me the belt motion. The question now, is he thinking Calvin Tankman? Of course, Calvin Tankman's got Pat Monix to think, to be thinking about later on.
is Shay Mercer thinking about Storm Grayson, the new independent champion? The great thing is Mercer has options. He can do as he pleases as the check to the championship holder. What an impressive weekend for Brian Keith, the outlaw here.